Beneath the shimmering surface of the Philippine Sea, hidden from the eyes of most, lies a world that few have ever seen, a world that is both beautiful and terrifying. This is the Philippine Trench, one of the deepest, most mysterious places on our planet. Stretching over 1,320 kilometers long and plunging to depths of more than 10,000 meters, it is a chasm so vast and so deep that if you dropped Mount Everest into it, the peak would still be submerged by more than a mile of water. The trench is a place where sunlight never reaches, where the pressure is so intense it could crush a submarine like a soda can, and where the temperature hovers just above freezing. Down here in the eternal darkness life takes on forms that seem almost alien, creatures with bioluminescent lights, bizarre shapes and adaptations that defy imagination. The crushing pressure is more than a thousand times what we experience at sea level, making this one of the most extreme environments on Earth. Yet, despite these harsh conditions, the Philippine Trench may hold secrets that could change our understanding of life itself. Some scientists believe that unique organisms living here could inspire new medicines, materials, or even energy sources. Others speculate about untapped mineral wealth, rare earth elements, and resources that could fuel the next technological revolution. Around the world, teams of scientists and explorers are racing to unlock the mysteries of the deep. In high-tech labs, researchers analyze samples brought up from the abyss, searching for clues about the origins of life and the future of our planet. Submarines equipped with robotic arms and advanced sensors probe the trench's depths, mapping its contours and collecting data never before seen by human eyes. The stakes are high, what we discover here could reshape our understanding of biology, geology, and even the limits of human exploration. As the world's most powerful nations like the United States, China and Russia deploy their most advanced ships and technology to explore these uncharted depths, the Philippines, whose waters hold this incredible natural wonder, finds itself watching from the sidelines. While others dive ever deeper in search of knowledge, power and fortune, the nation that sits atop the trench remains largely at the surface, its potential still waiting to be realized. The question is, will the Philippines seize its moment, or let the secrets of the abyss slip away forever? Only two nations today can repeatedly reach the bottom of Earth's deepest trenches. The United States, with the Triton limiting factor, China, with the Fenduge, Japan's Shinkai only halfway, Russia's MIR subs are outdated, and the Philippines, nothing, zero. The Triton limiting factor costs $50 million, about 2.8 billion pesos. Add support ship, engineers, scientists, and years of operations, totaling roughly 11 to 12 billion pesos. Expensive? Not compared to a single overpriced flood control project at home. Every year, trillions vanish into corruption. Overpriced bridges, ghost flood projects, fake roads. Imagine if just one of those billions went into a Filipino deep sea program. Our own sub, ship, crew, and flag planted in the trench. The trench is more than just a deep scar in the ocean floor. It's a treasure chest waiting to be unlocked. Imagine descending into this abyss where sunlight never reaches and the pressure is crushing. Down here, life has evolved in ways we can barely imagine. Strange, otherworldly creatures drift through the darkness, some glowing with their own light, others camouflaged in the shadows. These animals could hold secrets to new medicines or even clues to how life began on Earth. But it's not just the creatures that fascinate scientists. The rocks and minerals found here have been untouched for millions, perhaps even billions of years. They could reveal the history of our planet or provide resources we've never seen before. And then there's the legendary deuterium, an isotope of hydrogen, sometimes called heavy hydrogen. Some believe the trench holds vast deposits of it, locked away in the water and rocks. If true, this could be a game-changer for clean energy. Deuterium is a key ingredient for fusion reactors which promise nearly limitless, clean power. Harnessing it could revolutionize technology and help solve the world's energy crisis. Of course, not everyone is convinced. Some skeptics call the idea of deuterium-rich trenches a myth, a fantasy fueled by hope and speculation. But there's only one way to find out the truth. Scientists must venture into the unknown, braving the depths with advanced technology and unbreakable curiosity. By collecting water and mineral samples from the trench, we can finally uncover its secrets. What we discover could change our understanding of the planet and our future forever.
Modern submersibles like Triton and Fenduge can collect trench water in pressurized bottles. Once on the surface, labs can analyze it via electrolysis or isotope analysis. Does deuterium expire? No. Stable forever. The only barrier is access, not science. The Philippines stands at a crossroads, a moment in history where the choices we make today will echo for generations to come. Our nation, blessed with breathtaking natural beauty and a wealth of resources, faces a pivotal decision. Will we continue down the well-worn path repeating the mistakes of the past or will we dare to dream bigger, to reach deeper, and to invest in a future that could transform not just our country, but the world? For decades, billions have been lost to corruption, money that could have built schools, hospitals and infrastructure, money that could have fueled innovation and progress. Every peso wasted is an opportunity lost, a dream deferred. The headlines are all too familiar, scandals, secret deals and a system that sometimes seems impossible to change. But what if we chose a different path? Imagine a Philippines that invests in its brightest minds, scientists, engineers and visionaries, empowering them to explore the unknown. Picture our universities and research centers buzzing with innovation, our young people inspired to solve the mysteries of the deep. With the right technology, we could unlock secrets hidden beneath the waves, making discoveries that would put our nation on the map for all the right reasons. If we had our own submersible and dove into the trench, if we dared to go where few have gone before, what would we find? Would we discover new forms of life, untapped resources, or answers to questions that have puzzled scientists for decades? The Philippine Trench is one of the least explored places on Earth, a frontier that holds the promise of adventure, knowledge, and perhaps even fortune. This is just the beginning. This is part one. In part two, we'll dive even deeper, revealing the untold riches that lie hidden beneath the ocean floor. From rare minerals that could power the technologies of tomorrow to vast reserves of natural gas and energy that could secure our nation's future, the potential is staggering. But with great opportunity comes great risk and the story doesn't end there the world is watching. Powerful nations are already circling, eager to stake their claim in these contested waters. The global battle for the ocean floor is underway, and the Philippines must decide, will we be mere spectators, or will we take our place as leaders in this new era of exploration and discovery? The choices we make now will shape our destiny, and the legacy we leave for future generations. If you believe in the power of knowledge, in the promise of a brighter future, and in the importance of protecting what is rightfully ours, join us on this journey. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Your support helps us shine a light on the stories that matter, and together, we can make a difference. The truth is deeper than we think. The ocean holds secrets waiting to be discovered, and the next chapter is just around the corner. Stay tuned for part two, because the real adventure is only beginning.